try to guess the hidden meaning to each story in the comments below. Story 1. Garbage House. I used to be a hoarder. I collected garbage. My house was full of it. Every day I brought loads of garbage home and piled it up inside my house. I called it the garbage house. It was about two months after I started collecting garbage that the neighbors got suspicious. By then, all the rooms were already filled from floor to ceiling with garbage. There was a terrible stench, so naturally no one wanted to come near the house. Sometimes people from the neighborhood association came around to complain. I wouldn't open the door for them. Instead, I just shouted through a letterbox and told them to go away. Then a reporter from the TV news came around. I refused to give an interview. He talked to all the neighbors. They could say what they liked. I didn't care. I watched the coverage on the news that night. They said I was a desperate man with terrible debts and that I became strange ever since my wife ran away. Nobody understands what I'm going through. Then, an incident happened that drew the attention of the whole country. The house caught fire. I wasn't in the house at the time, so I was safe. But it burned to the ground. Afterwards, there was no traces left, just a big pile of ash. The investigators couldn't agree on what had started the fire. One thought it was caused by spontaneous combustion from the spoiled garbage. Another suspected it had set fire deliberately, but there was no proof. Well, I was hated by most of the people in the area because my house was full of garbage. Any one of them could have set it on fire in an attempt to get rid of me. Anyway, I didn't care. In fact, it was very convenient for me. After the garbage house burned down, I was able to collect the insurance. I got myself a small apartment and now I live normally. You could say I have a new chance at life. Of course, I don't feel like collecting garbage anymore. I don't need to. Story 2 Cough, cough. Hi. Long time no see. Yes, it's been a while. I'm glad you called. How have you been? <coughs> What's wrong? You have a cold? Yes, I've been coughing for days now. I think I'm going to bed early tonight. Just remember to lock your doors and windows. Why? You didn't hear about it on the news? No, what happened? It seems there's been a spat of murders in the area. That's terrible. Yes, they say the killer gets into the house somehow and strangles the victims from behind with a rope. How awful. I know, and has me spooked. Ah, uh, what is the world coming to? <coughs> oh. Bless you. Are you okay? <coughs> Your cold must be getting worse. Yes. Your voice even sounds hoarse. Uh-huh. There's nothing you could take for it? I've run out of cough medicine and the drugstore is closed. You don't happen to have any, do you? As a matter of fact, I do. Great. Can I come over to your place and collect it? Sure. How do I get there again? You've been here before, haven't you? Yeah, but I've forgotten the exact route. If you tell me your address, I'll be able to find it. Okay, I'll text it to you. Great. Oh wait, this might sound stupid, but for safety's sake, maybe we should just arrange a secret knock, just so I know it's really you. Good idea. You can never be too careful, especially these days. How about this? You knock three times, then two times, then three times. Okay, got it. See you in an hour. See you soon. I hope I don't catch your cold. You don't need to worry about that.